The Brain Behavior and the Environment is a new transdisciplinary program that brings together neuroscience research at FIU and other institutions to understand the role of environmental factors in neurodevelopmental disorders and in neurodegenerative and mental disease. When we created the program, we set three goals. One, to create and empower research focused on the environmental causes of brain diseases. Two, to devise strategies and develop treatments for brain diseases. And three, to establish a rich resource to educate students, faculty, clinicians, and the public at large on the role that environmental toxins play on brain disease. We also have an incredible group of outstanding doctoral students and postdoctoral fellows that are actively engaged in the program and are training a diverse number of undergraduate and master's students in this area. BBE targets investment in faculty and students. So my lab is really focused broadly on environmental factors in neurological disease. Currently, we really have three broad areas that we study. Uh, the first is gene environment interactions and neurodegenerative diseases. So how does genetic susceptibility of individuals interact with environmental exposures to increase risk for disease? And we work on that both primarily in Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease. We have a long tradition of working in developmental neurotoxicology and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, but currently we're mainly focused on the neurodegenerative diseases. Uh, the second major thrust of the laboratory revolves around neuroinflammation or inflammation of the brain. And uh, that's really becoming recognized as a major driver uh, of neurodegenerative disease. And so that's an area that we focus on both from basic mechanisms as well as gene environment interactions. Uh, the third part of the laboratory, we've had a long-standing program in developing what we call chemical countermeasures. So chemical warfare poisoning, highly toxic industrial chemicals, pesticides, and how do we develop therapeutics to treat people that have been exposed to high levels of those. For our lab, the, the next steps are really to build on these initial observations we have, really understand uh, how these chemicals are affecting the body. My research interest is in uh, Parkinson disease. Um, what we're trying to do is to understand how genetic mutations and environmental factors and how these two factors interact with each other to cause Parkinson's disease. What I really hope to accomplish um, ultimately is in addition to fully understand how brain cells die in Parkinson's disease is to develop effective drug therapies for these patients. My current focus uh, in my research is on gene and environment interactions as it relates to Alzheimer's disease. So older age, as we know, is the greatest risk factor for Alzheimer's disease, but also over two thirds of 80 patients are women. And the last factor is the ApoE4 gene. If you have the ApoE4 gene, your risk for getting Alzheimer's disease increases by almost tenfold. This will help us detect these biomarkers early enough to where we can step in and stop this progression or slow the progression so the individual has a better quality of life. Being a woman in STEM is very important because as they say, you have to see to be there. So I'm really glad to be in this field so that people, younger girls, are able to see that there are women scientists who can actually hopefully inspire them and someday they can look forward to being one of those scientists. It's definitely such um, like an honor and it's a great privilege as an undergraduate and someone coming just out of high school to be able to work with like such great minds and like other PhD students in the lab that are, are, so, are so enthusiastic about their topic and work really hard and are very smart. The best parts of it really consist of the faculty and the team that is assembled here. My mentor is probably the biggest part of it, but also the lab members that surround me and support me throughout this journey have been incredible, supportive, kind, and generous with their time and experience and knowledge. One vision of the program was not only to do basic neuroscience and neurotoxicology research, but also to be translational and perform studies in human populations. For this purpose, and to be able to study the living human brain, we envisioned the need for brain imaging technologies, such as magnetic resonance imaging and positron emission tomography. 
In the last year, we have received congressional appropriations to develop a PET cyclotron center in FIU that together with current MRI imaging, will allow us to do these type of studies in humans.